First being, I don't think you talked about this with uh, with Garrett, but SmackDown ended with The Rock taking Cody's place against Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Yeah. What is going on? That's a really good question. Um, I mean, when when he made the deal on January 3rd to come in, that was part of the deal. And why Cody Rhodes won the Royal Rumble is a question that I cannot answer because nobody will answer it for me. Um, but the belief was that it was Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes, and nobody knew, but the deal had been made prior to that. And, you know, um, played out the way they wanted it to play out. Um, the plan as of uh, Friday night was uh, Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes. And we'll see how it plays out because now they're trying to turn it into a story and we'll see how the story goes. Um, so you're telling me that Rock came in on January 3rd and agreed to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Well, he's been wanting to do that for years. But, but you're you're telling me they didn't tell anybody. Um, and they I booked a Royal I, Rumble where Cody won with everybody under the impression that Cody was going to face Roman. I can't tell you that they didn't tell anybody, but certainly they didn't tell many people or almost anyone. Um, and maybe, you know, I mean, he, he got $30 million. And that was a deal with Nick Khan and Ari Emanuel. It was way above the head of everyone in WWE, other than Nick. So, um, you know, and Nick and Rock and uh, Dwayne are, are friends. And Ari rep represents Dwayne and uh, signed with the deal. And, uh, you know, that was part of it. Now, as far as, you know, why, like, I, I, I don't know why. Because, cause cause, you know, the plan was for Punk to wrestle Rollins at WrestleMania. And so it would make all the sense in the world for Punk to win the Rumble. And I know people are saying, oh, it was changed. And it's like, it was not changed. Those T-shirts were made, and they were out in seconds, you know, with Cody winning the Rumble. That was absolutely 100% the way it went. It was not changed. But, um, you know, and they did that thing at the press conference, and they did that thing at the end of the show, and they wanted everyone to believe that. And many people did believe that. I thought that that was the case. I was outright told it was the case and um, by people who presumably were told as well and um you know it, so this thing was was uh this thing goes back further but i mean as far as like why i mean there's a lot of stuff that makes no sense if, if you're asking me and i don't really know what happened as far as that you know um you know they're gonna do like cody said they're gonna do that cody rhodes match just not this year at wrestlemania unless they change and do it to this year's wrestlemania you know, everything is up in the air. You know, there's no, there's nothing locked in stone. Um, well, I so. mean, they're doing a giant doing press, press thing on Thursday. So Thursday, by Thursday, they have to have their They need to know gear. by Thursday. And apparently, well, I not, heard... not, not, not necessarily because they can still change. They can well, do a press they, conference they, and they, they, they have weeks of, they have weeks of storyline. They could do it. They there's a million, that. there's literally a million things they could do. Listen, they can do everything. But if you're doing this giant press day. Yeah. And you're announcing this match. And then, by the way, you're going to have the WWE wrestlers at the Super Bowl asking the players who they think is going to win at WrestleMania. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot to do to then change it. I mean, it oh, sounds well, I, like well, if it's well, not well, changed by Thursday, this is what it's going to be. Well, oh, no, 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 no. Roman Reigns and Rock are going to have a match. Whether Cody ends up inserted into the match and makes it a three-way, um, you know, that's that's a different story. Um, and I don't know that that will happen, but I don't know that it won't happen because they can still do it. Like I said, as of Friday, that was not the plan, but you can always change the plan. Um, Were they but, expecting the backlash that they have received where they air the video at house you know, shows I, and it gets I, booed like crazy and they show the I, thing at NXT and the fans booed out of the building? Were they expecting that? I don't know what they were expecting, but they were expecting Cody Rhodes to turn into Daniel Bryan. Yes. Well, they've they've essentially accomplished that. Yeah, that one they were they they were expecting to make Cody Rhodes into a martyr and make him a bigger baby face out of that. Were they expecting the people to boo Dwayne? I don't know because um, you know I've asked that one and and I haven't gotten a straight answer. Um, and again, you know, I mean, we'll see how they react. I mean, I'm sure that the fans will cheer Cody like crazy. 
Um, will they boo Dwayne when he's at TV? I mean, they very well may. Um, they certainly did not in Birmingham. But well, I think the bigger question is what happens if the fans really don't want this particular match at WrestleMania and they turn on the match? We haven't had that happen in a decade. Yes, that's true. Um, what happens? On the flip side, I don't know how much do they care because they're going to be getting they're going to be getting more eyeballs for this match than any match they've ever had. They're going to have more sponsorship revenue based on the fact Dwayne's wrestling than any match they've had. So you know they may go in there and just go let them boo. You know what I mean? We're it's it's the biggest money match that we could ever make, and that's the match that we're going to make. So you know, and that's what. That, unfortunately, or fortunately, I mean, you know, I mean, again, they've given people a year. It's really shitty um, um, story, you know, storytelling, obviously. To do they've it given way. people two years, actually. Yeah, okay, two because years. Because everybody expected it to happen last WrestleMania, and it right. didn't. And then they spent a full year building it up for this WrestleMania. Well, And now the storyline is that Cody has decided, I think that, uh, and and even like the whole angle is like, he explained that finishing the story is not just taking the title, but taking everything from you. And so I, I had counsel with this man, and then The Rock came out. Yeah. I was like, what? I tell you what, I I don't. We'll see how they, you know, try to get out of it. But they are turning it into an angle. You know, what I mean, they're they're they are encouraging this, and the fact of of you know, I mean, the again the reaction for Cody about Cody getting screwed and people getting behind Cody. I mean, that is, that was part of the story. That was absolutely expected. Um, as far as people booing Dwayne, I don't know that that was expected, but I don't, I don't know it wasn't. I just know that in Birmingham, they cheered him like crazy. And, you know, um, but the vehemence, I mean, how many times have we seen vehemence to a WWE decision and the next thing you know, business goes up. So, um, and they know that. So, I mean, well, I will say this that I I got text messages this weekend from people that have never talked to me about wrestling. Like, they know that I cover wrestling, but they don't care about wrestling. But they were texting me this weekend, like, why is everybody mad at The Rock? What's going on? And I was trying to explain it to well, them. Well, it, 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 it is. It is. But in, in the in the real world, nobody is. In the wrestling world, everyone is. No, this was in, this was a person in the real world. Oh, no, no, no. They were aware of it. No, I mean, yes. I know people who are aware of it, but they're not mad at The Rock. It's exactly what you said. Why are these people mad yeah, at The Rock? Yeah, they didn't know why people were mad at The Rock. But they knew that something was going on with the wrestling and The Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's one of the most, whatever it is, you know, the YouTube video, there's like a million people who are just like you know ripping on it and and you know being mad that he took cody's spot and uh you know i mean vince did that with uh with hulk hogan and bret hart many 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 years ago and uh you know um it never really played out because they never did the hulk hogan bret hart match but i'm sure if they had done that match hulk hogan would have been booed um you know people didn't like you know they saw how that thing played out so uh we have to watch and see how it plays out on Monday and Thursday. I mean, Thursday is actually the big day. Um, but, you know, will they pivot? I don't know. Um, you know, um, but I mean, as far as like from a big picture standpoint, are they going to remove Dwayne? I mean, it's possible. But, you know, if they have merchandise, which they do, if they have sponsorship, which they have worked on, and this is part of the sponsorship, you know, they kind of have to go with it at this point. Well, we'll uh, know more on Thursday as they've got that big press event in Las Vegas. And I guess probably it will be very interesting on Raw because they have to show all of it. And we'll see what this Raw crowd thinks. Because they sure did oh, love him on SmackDown in the they're, moment. Oh, they're, they're, they're going to they're, they're boo. They're going to boo if he's not there. And I don't, and I don't know that he's there. I don't think he's there. Um they will boo the clip for sure. I mean, we saw that it happened in Knoxville. It happened tonight in uh, in um, Clarksville. Um, it will happen everywhere. You know, he will get he will get booed like crazy when they show the clip. Um, if he shows up, will he get booed? I don't. You know, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, it's very possible that he will, but it's also possible. I mean, I've seen. You know, I mean, how many times did I see people boo clips of Hulk Hogan and then he walks out and everyone goes crazy? You know, I mean, it's just, it was, you know, so I don't know, you know, nobody, nobody fully knows other than, yeah, 
It was shitty storytelling, and I don't, like I said, like, I do not understand why Cody Rhodes was booked to the, win the Rumble unless it was this idea that if we do it this way, we're going to, you know, again, try to turn Cody Rhodes into to, to Daniel Bryan. Um, you know, that's not, um, you know, I mean, that's... that's Especially that's, because with Daniel Bryan, it was like, I don't know, man. It's not like, I mean, Cody's already the most over baby face on the roster. Yeah, like, but you can always make him. You can always make him more. It's not like it's. You can always make him more, and he's still the guy who's going to have to carry the company when all is said and done. Dwayne's not going to be around the rest of the year. Um, Cody's going to be the flagship guy, and kind of was the last year as well. So, um, and Seth, you know, I mean, will Seth take time off after Mania? And I don't know the answer to that one. Um, so Cody's going to end up. I can't imagine Cody not ending up as, as a champion in something, in some form or fashion, whether it's at Mania or he beats Reigns somewhere down the line. I mean, it's not like they're never going to go there. Um, but, yeah, I mean, um, we got to watch, watch this thing play out. I don't know I don't know how it's going to play out, and I'm not even sure they do, you know, fully. They got till Thursday to figure it out, but... Uh, I I don't think I don't think that the, they expected people to boo rock, but I cannot tell you that as a fact. I don't know like what you know if they're you know how deep their forty checkers game is. I know Brian Gowert said that none of you people know what is actually really happening, and that's probably true. So that's part <laughs> well, of it too. it's true that none of us have any idea what these people are thinking. That is true. I, I mean, I I know I know to a degree what they're thinking, but when it comes to were they thinking that Dwayne was going to get booed, I don't have a good answer for that one because that's the one that I don't know. And the other one I don't know is you know why Cody w w would would win the Rumble when the way the whole thing was situated, if they were going to go with um, you know um, uh, uh, Dwayne in that match, Punk should have won the Rumble. At least at that point, you have the thing that's logical where punk goes and he can choose seth because of the interview and then roman can go with brock and there you go and um you know um and as far as like elimination chamber obviously there's going to be a women's chamber match for the for the opponent for um rhea ripley and as far as a men's chamber match um i don't know exactly what the purpose of that would be at this point so uh you know, they have not announced a men's chamber match. I mean, so there you go. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.